I've been fortunate enough through Fringe to grow as an artist, not just as an artist who writes their own work, produces their own work, but I've also been able to grow as an artist in the sense that I've been able to see a lot of plays and a lot of work I wouldn't be able to see elsewhere if this inclusive festival wasn't happening in my own city. It's, it's, it's a great place to be. It got me out of my comfort zone. And so if you guys want to get in something that where this gets you comfortable, this is the place to be. <laughs> it's like the opportunity that it gives to people to be able to perform and share their art. This festival is very open and very warm to newcomers and to productions. Um, they are a space that offers a lot of talent to come showcase that talent. And that's what attracted me the most because I had never written a production before and I felt comfortable, I felt welcome and I didn't feel like it was going to be scary. And so that's the experience that I am expending to you <laughs> that I want you to come and grab that experience for yourself. The beauty of the Fringe is that you can go to a performance that is absolutely brilliant or you can go to one that is so bad you are immediately looking around for a gracious way to leave the room. And that is the beauty of the Fringe. You just never know what's going to happen. The performances that I've seen in the past two years I think are truly some of the most groundbreaking cutting edge work that is happening in Kansas City right now. And so as a passionate theater goer, um, I'm just really excited to see Fringe kind of enter the next 20 years of its phase. I first was an audience member, and then I thought, well, what the heck? Yeah, I'm from Minnesota. I thought I might as well put in for a show that I've just took around to church basements and senior citizen centers around Minnesota. And I didn't realize that sometimes when you just sign up, you're in. And I was hooked. I have been singing for years, uh, but I kind of stopped due to other things. And now I'm back and I'm excited and I can't wait to do the Fringe. I'm grateful uh, for Fringe to allow people like myself to, uh, to uh, create a work and see it uh, produced live. If you have never heard of Casey Fringe before, head to caseyfringe.org.